Hi, let's talk makeup brushes. Okay, here we go. I am a huge uh, fan. Let me try to get the hallway out of this. Perfect. I am a huge, huge fan of um, makeup brushes from It Cosmetics. They are one of my favorites. So when QVC runs specials, <laughs> they always include makeup brushes from It Cosmetics. So a lot of It Cosmetics brushes on their own are about $15, uh, 15, excuse me, $48 uh, on their own. You usually get about five uh, uh, items in an It Cosmetic uh, Today Special. Even if it's not a Today Special, when I get my um, favorite bronzer from them, it came with the brush that I'm gonna be showing you. The whole kit was, I think, $40, and this brush on its own was $48. So I'm gonna go through a few of my brushes with you that I use on a day-to-day, -day, and then a couple of other ones that I got in kits that uh, weren't my favorites. So they're not stuff that I use day-to-day, -day, but I'm happy I had them in my collection if that makes any sense. We also, in a lot of the beauty boxes, get brushes. So it enables you to try different brushes because a couple of them really surprised me and they ended up taking places of brushes that I thought were my be all and end all. So, you know, every brush has a different feel. Uh, every person who uh, does their own makeup knows what they like and what they don't like. Uh, it could be the heaviness of the brush, it could be if the bristles are too hard, if uh, they're too uh, compressedly packed. So that's why there's different brushes for different things. And as you start playing with makeup, you start realizing the differences. So I brought a couple of the ones out here, more than a couple, that I keep uh, close to me. I also have an entire drawer filled with brushes. I have another area that has brushes. Because of the beauty boxes, we get so many. And because of uh, places like QVC and HSN that you know give you brushes with the kits, you end up with a, a, a large amount of brushes. So they're always good to have because not all of us are good at washing our, our brushes regularly. So as they start piling up, then you spend a whole you know, day, it's usually a Sunday, doing all the cleaning of your sponges and your makeup brushes. So, all right, let's start at the beginning. To me, the uh, this was the first uh, makeup brush that I got, which was a Kabuki style brush. The first, first uh, brush that I got introduced to actually was this one. But this was the first flat top kabuki, which a lot of people talk about, but I wanna start where I started. This is It Cosmetics. This is what got me hooked on It Cosmetics. It is a small kabuki on the uh, one end, and then this, um, I call it a concealer uh, brush on the other. Hands down, this is the number one brush that if I lost this, I would be like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? It is great for foundation, it is great for BB creams, it is great for CC creams, it's great for concealers, it's great for eye brighteners, it's great for uh, spotting uh, the concealer in areas where you wanna cover. It is soft yet firm. Uh, I, I can't say enough about this. This is was my first introduction into IT Cosmetics and their brushes, and after that, I was hooked. If they say they have a brush, I am I am the first one in line to grab it. So this, to me, was an absolute win. And if you ever see kits that include this brush, try it, because you'll be the same as me. This will, this will change your game. The next item that we just spoke about was this flat kabuki brush. This is great for me for powdered foundations only. They pack on really nicely and it the flat brush makes makes a big difference. As long as you don't want to do any of this, that's when you go for your kabukis that do that for you. So that to me is an absolute win. So none of these had numbers on them because they came in kits. So I apologize, but this is a flat kabuki brush. And to me that's I solely use it for powdered foundation. 
The other brush that is a major win for me is this one that I try to talk about all the time because it blew me away. This one is the one that I got with the bronzer. I bought a second bronzer before I was even halfway through the first one because on QVC this included the brush and like I said it was under $40, I think $38 or something, but they do a $3 shipping so it's around $40. This brush on its own on every site no matter where you go you will see it is $48 and it is worth it. It hits exactly where it's supposed to hit for your bronzer, in your hairline, in your uh, jaw, you know helping with the double chin. It is just perfect and in a previous video I mentioned when we were younger we used to squeeze our brushes together to get this shape so the fact that there's a brush with this many bristles in it and it's soft and it's phenomenal this to me is I, I'm happy I have a second one of this and it's in my makeup bag when I travel all the time this is one brush I, I don't like to go without and I kept the cover that came with it so that the bristles didn't go nuts in my um, in my luggage so this was perfect then I found on um, elf a smaller version of this so what I did was I picked it up because I thought it was a great concept with the larger ones I thought okay great I'll get a smaller one and that's what I did this is a good brush I'm not gonna say it's not it's a little more um, compact it's like the, the bristles are a little bit harder but what's great about these little ones you know how you get um, palettes and they usually have a small compartment that has a bronzer or a blush whatever this brush from it's is way too big this fits perfect for their large bronzer like the Marc Jacobs has a large bronzer same thing this one fits perfectly in these smaller palettes so happy I found this one learned from it cosmetics that this is a great uh, brush and elf definitely did a good job getting a smaller version of it the other brush from it cosmetics that I absolutely love for the face is this one this one for contour if I ever try to use a different brush to do my contour it doesn't come out the same so again another winner this is a little bit firmer still has the softness of the bristles um, has the angle so it's easy to to get exactly how you want it wish I can find this again to get a second one. If I see this in a kit, I will buy this kit just for this brush. That's how much of a winner it is. Another one that I got in a kit was their uh, blush uh, brush. This one uh, was all white bristles at one point. No matter how much I wash it, I can't get, no matter what brush comes with white bristles, once you use them, it's very hard to get that white bristles uh, look back but with that said no shedding uh, fantastic angle really soft and a uh, really cute design this is a winner like I said this is the only uh, I have a couple of these this is the only um, blush brush that I like to use to put on my blushes with that said with it cosmetics I'm not crazy about their blushes um, Tarte for me is a superior uh, blush and usually I like everything, uh, majority of the products from It's. For some reason their blushes for me have not been a win. So, but their brush was, so that was a win for me. Um, the other one that I got from It Cosmetics was this one. Uh, it's called the Heavenly Lux Radiance Wand. This is a larger handle. They do have them also in smaller handles, but I got this uh, when I got one of their uh, finishing powder kits. This is exceptionally soft. Uh, it is phenomenal for a light dusting of uh, powder at the end of your makeup to take away some of the shine. I love having this. It is so luxurious to the face. This was definitely another win. The last It Cosmetic brush for the face that I see here, oh no, I have a few others I wanna go through. This one here was humongous. This one came with, uh, it was a disc that had, half of it was uh, in a bronzer, then it had a pink uh, blush, and it had a uh, highlighter. 
So it was came in a circle, but half of it was a bronzer, a little bit of a blush, and a little bit of the bronzer. You'll see when I finally bring that one out to show you that that's what I'm using. The bronzer's almost done. The highlighter is also, there's pan, hit pan on both sides. The only thing that's sitting in there is the blush. So I'm trying to get myself to use the blush when I need to put blush on just so that I can, okay, get rid of that compact because it is big. But for some reason, I, I can't get to, to using the blush, but I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there. But this was the biggest brush I've ever seen. It is like, I don't know how to use it, but I love having it and uh, it's really soft. So that's that one there. Then in um, one of the HSN kits that uh, it was, I think, Benefits, it was the uh, Huda bronzer that everyone swore by. So when I saw a kit that uh, came with a brush like this from uh, Benefit on HSN, I figured I'd give it a shot. So I tried the Huda bronzer. I think I'm one of the few people that are not crazy about it. For some reason on me, uh, it comes across muddy. And when they came up with the light version, I figured I would try that as well. And the light uh, one uh, was just, it, it didn't show up. But the brush is phenomenal. This is the softest, softest brush that I own. It's great for bronzer uh, if you're using smaller compacts. Uh, I love having this in my collection. If you see this, it's enjoyable. It's a win. Then uh, in some of the boxes, we received a couple of larger uh, brushes. And it's funny because we just received from BoxyCharm for the Boxy Lux some sneak peeks of what's going to be coming. And then an email came that you were able to choose uh, certain products that you wanted. Uh, and one of them was an entire brush collection from Moda. But the choice was uh, a curling wand that had no, um, no extra bar, like that clip. And I don't have that in my collection. So I do have a lot of brushes, even though I think Moda, if that was, you know, a bunch that came in and the other option wasn't, you know, this curling iron that I don't have, I would have definitely 100% chose the Moda brushes. The handles are great, no shedding, very soft. Uh, I travel with this one and I love it. Uh, this is, so the Moda brushes to me are definitely a winner. Another big surprise for me was this one from so Sonia Kashik, if that's how you pronounce her name. She uh, had a, a fantastic line on um, uh, Target, at, at Target. And I got a Target um, beauty box that was all Sonia uh, Kashik, and I think it was seven or $10, one of those monthly boxes. I used to get those every month, no matter what. They were $7, it came with like a $3 coupon that you can go into the store and then I would take that $3 coupon and buy some pixie sprays that were $15 because you had to spend $15. And it was long story short, I haven't had a Target Beauty Box, I think in the last three, four months. They're not putting as much makeup in there now. They're putting, I have a lot of shampoos from them um, that I'm trying, but they, um, the last one was, I think like, a, a head and shoulders and some, uh, all stuff that, that not one makeup, not even a lipstick. If there was a lipstick in there or a gloss in there for the $7, I would grab it because the cost of a lipstick or, a, a gloss or a mascara is always more than the $7. They're always a great deal, even at $7, even if there's like only one or two things in their box, that's great. But for some reason, when there's not a, a little makeup in there, I, I don't need another sample size toothpaste. I don't need another sample size shampoo. So the last three months I haven't gotten it. So I'm hoping that, uh, and I, I don't think I'm not the only one because the Target boxes used to sell out all the time. And now um, I'm seeing them get discounted halfway through the month. They're down to five bucks instead of seven. So a little surprised that they're not catching on that. Put some makeup in there and you'll see there'll be a huge uh, difference of who will take it. Anyways, this brush is supposed to be for blush. Like I said, my favorite blush brush is this one. And as you can see, this one is rounder. What I like using this one for has been for um, bronzer. And this, for some reason, when the bronzers are a little bit too uh, dark that we get in kits, I just received uh, from one of them the Pretty Vulgar one that's a little dark. There's one that was um, 
I think it's Love Beauty or Lovecraft Beauty, where there were three bronzers in there. This is the brush that I use, and I find that even if the blush or bronzer is too dark, mostly bronzer, this is what I use, and it seems to diffuse it uh, in the best way that it doesn't look overdone on my face. So very, very impressed with this, and if they have another box where there's some Sonia Kashuk products or brushes, I will definitely be grabbing those. The other brush that I just got introduced to was this one with this angle. It was in this past month's boxes. Phenomenal. Uh, I use this to contour. This is great for just putting blush just on the, the, the apples of your cheek. Very, very impressed with the Luxie uh, brushes. For underneath my eyes when I want to use the yellow powder, this e.l.f. brush, I don't know which number this is, but it has this small little dome shape. And this is phenomenal to pack right under the eye. I have a few of these. I travel with these. This is definitely uh, a huge win for me. And what I use for my uh, highlighter is a Real Techniques brush. This is the one that it looks like. I got this in a kit of like four or five brushes at the drugstore. And this one is exceptionally soft. It's small enough that it fits exactly where I want to put my highlighter. And that one has been an absolute win for me. So that's that. Then I got in a bunch of kits from uh, It's Cosmetics. They usually come in these containers. Uh, this last one was um, last month. I'm very excited there. I haven't seen any sneak peeks yet, but I think QVC at the end of this month is going to have a QVC uh, and It Cosmetics uh, TSV, which is a today special value. And I'm really excited to see what that is. Usually they give you a sneak peek a week before, and if they do, I'll, I'll try to make a video to tell you guys um, about it. But this was the last one that um, they did. And this I thought would be one of my favorite brushes because of that double concept. And that was the initial brush that we started with. For some reason this one didn't end up being a winner for me. So what I did was I keep this in this container and I put a, a note on it for myself that this is my uh, brush that I'm only gonna use with dry powder. So when this came, I think it came with a celebration uh, foundation. I thought it would be uh, as good if not better than this size Kabuki brush because of the different angle. Um, this, for some reason, is more compact than this one came across very soft, as you can see. Um, so I found when I was dispensing this, I was using a lot more powder this, than this one uh, that I used all the time. And this flat little uh, area here was also a little too flimsy for me uh, for putting, but I tried to do it with the banana powders and stuff, but the uh, e.l.f. brush ended up being better for me. So this, uh, like I said, I, I use it, but I don't reach for it. The other one that I got uh, in a kit, and I'm starting to learn that these one with the silver handles and these white bristles are not my favorites from them. They started introducing these. I don't know if they're less expensive brushes for them. I don't think they cut the corners on anything uh, when they do kits, even uh, during Christmas time, I find their quality stays the same all the way through. I just think for me, um, these brushes that come in the silver handles are just not winners for me. Uh, I kept this one to use as a, do as a dry uh, powder brush uh, because it was soft, uh, but for some reason it's, it's just not one that I reach for. I absolutely don't love it and usually like I said I love the It Cosmetic brushes. The other It Cosmetic brush that was in the most recent one was this angled brush. It came with the uh, I think the matte CC cream which I absolutely love. That, that really uh, I like it a lot. The regular CC cream for me was a little too shiny near the, the uh, even at the beginning of the day. I might be getting shiny now but this is the end of the day. So um, this one, it, you can, I don't know if you can even see it, it, it gets weird. And uh, when I put it on with the actual product on it, it just gets weird. And then you wash it and it gets even weirder. So not happy. So when I see these silver handles in the future, I don't know how quickly if I don't like the products, usually I like the brush before the products. In the case of this, I, I wouldn't rush out to buy those. Um, the other uh, products that I have that I use with liquids is I have the uh, Bare Minerals one that has this little uh, indentation here that you can drop um, 
their, uh, God, I don't even know the name of their foundation. It, it's a drop foundation, so it's good for all those foundations that are very, very liquidy. It goes in the middle here, and then you buff it into your skin. And what's great about the concept of this brush, and it does work, is you don't end up um, just moving around your face. It's almost like you get the uh, foundation on and then it buffs itself out into a lighter buff because of how this brush design is. So when you see a Bare Minerals kit that has this brush in it, it it's definitely a win to have in your collection. The uh, other item that I use um, for my uh, foundation sticks is this one from Tarte. Also got it in a kit. I think it's twice a year um, that Tarte itself runs promotions. So if you don't want to, you know, wait for a special on QVC, they used to be on QVC all the time. And now if I see them twice a year, it's a lot. But um, this one is a very compact uh, brush and it is a miracle worker with foundation stick, uh, foundation stick, uh, stick foundation. So um, this, no matter if I'm using one from the drugstore or the actual one from Tarte, it blends it into the skin and I can literally get ready in two minutes based on this brush. So it's been great. The other Tarte brush uh, that I loved, it came with one of their first um, Amazonian clay uh, foundations. L'Oreal makes a, a similar uh, foundation that comes in a tube. Uh, it's a very moussey type of product this brush is phenomenal for that. You would think this would be like a powder brush, but it really is a true foundation brush for that style foundation. So that's one that I'm really, really happy that I have in my kit. The other ones that I got in kits from Tarte that I use for liquid foundation is this foundation brush, um, high-end foundation brush. The regular foundation brushes that were in my kit, and this one was from J Manual Beauty, which was also an HSN special. Look at the difference. You can see how it cosmetic just, it's its like brushes on steroids. It's phenomenal. So this is nice. This is unbelievable. So if you like these type of flat foundation brushes, that's great. Also, if you wanna use them for masks, uh, flat foundation brushes are great for that as well. And the other two that I have here that are on my counter that I brought here was another one that I wanted to show you was in the silver brush, uh, the silver uh, barrel. Same problem that I had with the most recent one that I got. When you wash these, they still end up not coming back to the way they were. And for some reason, you cannot get the product out of it. And so it's not enjoyable to put on your face. It doesn't um, blend it nicely either. So I'm starting to realize that the ones in the silver uh, containers are just not for me. And the last one that I got um, here from It Cosmetics is this uh, triangular one that now you can understand why I keep the one that is a similar shape here in this container and I say dry because this is it when I wash it after, how nice it looks. And then this is what this one looks no matter how much I wash it once you put liquid foundation on it. This does not have anything on the other end where this one does. And so I keep it in its own little container and I have marked on the top of this one powder so that I know that this one, if I wanna use that type of style, I don't wanna uh, kill that brush, I, I use this one. But I thought the angle, the whole concept, you know, when they they describe it on, on the television. It made perfect sense to me, but to me, if you put liquid on this, a liquid foundation, and it starts spreading like this, you're really not getting what you should get out of a out of a brush. So that's why the beauty blenders, even if you use a brush, you should always end off your putting on your makeup uh, that way. The other brushes that I have um, are really for uh, eyeshadows and I really stick with the same uh, concept on most of them. So I'll show you just a few and then we'll, we'll call it a day with this video is I think everybody should have, it doesn't matter uh, the brands on these, is a flat shader brush. I think it's important. Uh, this is also an It Cosmetic, but if you can see, it's a fluffier uh, top to it. So if you don't want, uh, a, you know, you want it to not 
be so dense the, the color and you just want a light wash this is good what's good about this one is the other side has a fantastic under the eye uh, uh, blender so you're able to put your eyeshadow really close to your lower lash line or upper lash line but I use this for my lower lash line so this is definitely uh, a must-have in your kit the other um, item for me that that I don't like to to not travel with that I absolutely love are these are from Mali and they were in kits so like I said just a simple um, blender brush that's very very fluffy and and not uh, lowly packed down here it has to be up like high and in a dome and this is really great especially as you get a little bit older you have to be very careful with the windshield wiper motion and you got to literally just use the the tip of it because uh, your eyelids start to move <laughs> with the, with the motion and you got to make sure that you're not doing that because then you're really stretching the skin on your eyes even more so I recommend very highly this type of brush the other uh, one that uh, is an absolute win for me let's see if I yeah here it is is another double cider from Mally's it was also in a kit but to me uh, it's fantastic when I travel for two reasons one the other side is a pencil brush and you can get pencil brushes like from wet and wild from anywhere it's just a, a small little dome dense so it enables you to on the outer uh, area of your eye to pack the product on and then you need a lighter uh, brush to uh, move the product and blend it in so I like having an angle brush so it keeps my um, eye uh, when I put my eyeshadow on it keeps me going in the motion that I get that line and then I move forward very similar to what I do with my contour so any um, brush that's a little bit softer and has an angle I think is a definite win and then another uh, few brushes this one is just a smaller version of the large blending brush and there you can see it so if you want to have this as your transition that's what I use and then if I want to pack a color in underneath I use a smaller a dome brush like this like I said the brands don't matter on these to me um, and then I have a smaller one that I got from um, Mally's which is an even uh, smaller pencil brush that I use and also I've used this so much that it bends the way I want you know how you have your part in your hair and you no matter how you do your hair it finds its own part that's what this brush is doing and then just a smaller flat uh, brush so I can use this um, for uh, putting uh, exactly where I want in the crease other people I think would use this for a cut crease but this is for me um, what I use to to uh, place uh, shimmers in the middle of my my uh, my eyelid and then the last uh, few brushes are a flat uh, eyeliner brush I think is important to have and a angled eyeliner brush so you can use this with uh, liquids you could use this with uh, eyeshadow black eyeshadow brown eyeshadows and these two I think are important to have in your kit and the last uh, brush that I would uh, recommend is this small uh, pencil brush I use this only in the corner of my eyes and I got introduced to this style brush I think this is yeah this is crown C513 um, like I said um, I got introduced to this through uh, one of the boxes I have so many uh, brushes that I haven't uh, taken the time to try yet uh, that have been in the boxes uh, but uh, every time I pull one out to try it ends up being in my in my main drawer the newest one that I've put is the most recent ones from uh, the last month's boxes was this small one uh, from uh, Luxie this I thought was great to really be precise if I just wanted to put the shimmers in the lower lower part of my eye I never had one that was this short but still flexible enough that it goes exactly where I want it and I ended up saying wow this is definitely going into my main brush area and the other one that we got from them was this one which I didn't know if I was going to even use it because it was so large but what I loved about this was I was able to use this as my final blend so if I saw that I didn't do that great of a blending job from one color into the other I'll then go over it with this large guy 
and it ended up being a, a total win. I think it's important to always have a lipstick uh, one in your kit. I have this one from Revlon. I bought, I uh, don't know if it was last year, uh, Urban Decay had a sale on those lipsticks that are inside the kit. Never opened it once, but bought the uh, <laughs> this to have uh, in case I wanted to use it. Just double checking here if there's anything else. Pretty much that's it. Uh, here's another one that I got in the Sonia Kashik one where one side has a spoolie and the other side has the uh, angled, uh, uh, brus uh, uh, the angled brush uh, here. And that is, uh, I guess, for eyebrows. I Like I've mentioned, I don't do my eyebrows that often, so that's not a brush that I've used very much. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that with you guys and, and uh, give you a little insight on, on my brushes that I use on a day-to-day. And uh, like I said, when we open boxes and we get new ones, I'll definitely give those a shout and uh, see if they end up replacing any of the ones that I have. But uh, little by little, your collection gets bigger and bigger and uh, you end up with favorites. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So once again, thanks for finding me. Hope uh, what I had to say uh, helped a few of you make some decisions and please subscribe, it's free. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Once again, thanks for finding me and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.